Let's solve this radical equation. Notice that uh, it looks pretty nasty, and actually it's even more nasty than it looks because there's quite a few pitfalls in this. So first of all, I want to point out what most people um, at the beginning don't really think about, and that's when you're squaring both sides because that is what you have to do. You're introducing into your problem potential extraneous solutions. Extraneous solution means it looked like when you did the math that it was a solution, but in fact it is not. So when we get done at the very end, we have to go ahead and plug those values back in and make sure that it gives us a true solution to the equation. So that's something that we're going to do at the, at the very end. But before I do that, let's obviously go ahead and do the math. So the other big pitfall people do a lot of times is when they square this right here, they forget that you can't just take, let me give you a simple example, 3 minus 2 squared does not equal 3 squared minus 2 squared. Obviously 3 minus 2 is 1 and 1 squared is 1, but 3 squared is 9 and 2 squared is 4, so 1 does not equal 9 minus 4. No, no, it does not equal that. You can't just distribute that in, that's a no-no. Instead, you need to think of it as um, this thing right here times itself. And if you remember what, what you get when you do, like, for instance, x minus 9 squared, you get x squared minus 9x minus 9x plus 18. In other words, you get x squared minus, I'm sorry, not 18, 81 which means you get 9x minus 18x plus 81. So you're going to get double of that middle number. So what we're going to do when we square this is use that formula or think through what we're doing. So I'm, but I'm going to do it kind of in shorthand. So this thing is going to be squared, which is just going to give you 4y plus 29. I'll put parentheses just to kind of keep it together. This times this is going to give you negative... 4y plus 29 times y minus 4, both under the square root symbol. But really there's going to be two of those. So negative that minus that is really negative 2 of that. And then we're going to get the last term is going to be this times itself, which becomes a positive. And again, I don't need the parentheses, but I'm going to do it just so you can see that it's together. It's going to be a positive y minus 4. And that whole thing is going to equal 6 squared, which is 36. I ran out of room over there. All right, so we're not done yet. So now we're going to, we're going to add like terms. Notice that I've got y and 4y here, so that becomes 5y. I have 29 and minus 4, so that's positive 25 minus 2 square root of, I'm going to just go ahead and put these together, 4y plus 29. Make some more room here. 4y plus 29 and y minus 4. Since those are being multiplied together and they're both the same radical, which is really just a rational exponent, you can put them together underneath the radical, equals 36. Well, still not done. Now the question is, what do I do to try to solve this? Because I still have a radical here. I still have a radical I have to deal with. Well, now I'm going to isolate that radical expression. So let's keep that on this side, and let's move everything else over to the right side. So it equals 4y plus 29, y minus 4, equals 30, oops, let me just do this, negative 5y. And when I subtract 25 from 36, I get positive 11. Now I'm going to do that same thing that I did at the very beginning, but now this will work a little bit better, which is to square both sides of my equation. And when I square both sides, I get 4 times, now this does take care of the square root, 4y plus 29 times y minus 4 equals, squaring this gives me, I'm not going to explain it, I'm just going to do it, 25y squared minus uh, 110y plus 121. 
keep going on the next page. So then this, when I distribute this in right here, I get, uh, was, this, was that supposed to be a negative 4? No, that was a positive 4. I will get 4 times, I'm just going to go ahead and foil this thing out right here. That becomes 4y squared minus 29y, sorry, plus 29y minus 16y minus give me myself some more space here uh, 29 times negative 4 is like 30 times negative 4 which would be negative 120 but it's 4 less than that so it's negative 116 equals that mess that I have right there I won't move it over now I take the 4 and I multiply it in well let's add those together 29 minus 16 is 13y so that becomes 13y multiply the 4 in and it gives me 16y squared plus 52y minus, minus 464 equals 25y squared minus 110y plus 121. This is a big mess, I know, but that's why I'm showing you the problems and all the steps so you can see if you're doing it right. So now notice what I have here is a quadratic equation and in order to solve a quadratic equation. So it took all that time just to get rid of my radicals. Now I want to put this quadratic equation in standard form and then use either factoring or the quadratic formula or completing the square to solve it. So I'm going to move everything to the right, setting it equal to zero. So subtracting 16y squared from 25y squared gives me 9y squared. Subtracting 52y from 110 gives me negative 162y and subtract and adding 464 to 121 gives me positive 585 and it looks nasty but actually if you notice these are all multiples of 9 all these numbers are multiples of 9 so I can factor out a 9 or in other words just kind of like divide by 9 and I will get y squared and you get that and then you'll notice if I'm setting that equal to zero it's really I can just kind of divide a nine out so that doesn't really matter what really matters is that this is y minus 13 and y minus 5 equals zero which means y equals 13 or y equals 5 but remember those might not be correct answers because you could have extraneous solutions so let's take 13 and 5 and let's check them plug in 13 here and here and check it and sure enough it works and then plug 5 in here and here and check it and sure enough that works as well so you know those answers are correct you can circle them and you're done